And that is what we call a yummy Caesar salad. I'm gonna go and have a little sunbathe. It's incredible. We well, fly. Hello guys, welcome back to the Australia vlogs. I'm pretty sure this is episode four and we are actually in probably my dream ever holiday destination right now. So we're in Airlie Beach, also known as the Whitsundays and I'm so excited. Like I have just dreamt of the day where we get to come here and go to the Whitehaven beach and all of that and that's exactly what we're gonna do this week. So I'm just so, so, so happy to be here. Like. It feels crazy. I feel like everywhere we've been in Australia has got such a different vibe. And this is just such a unique place. Like it, It's literally in the middle of mountains and on all the mountains, they're just covered in trees. Like I've never seen anywhere like it. So it's currently Monday. We're here until Friday and we've got a boat tour booked and we're gonna be able to go to the Whitsundays and see all of it. Like it's crazy. So here we've got the Whitehaven beach um there is like the great barrier reef you can see all of that over here so i'm so excited it took us quite a while to get here but we got here and i'm so frigging excited to just spend the week here explore i've got so many recommendations because this is one of my friend's favorite places to come so she sent us so many recommendations of places to go and eat and everything so number one on the agenda is we're going to go and grab some lunch and we're going to go somewhere a little bit out of early it's about a 15 minute drive it's called the north Lees but we're so excited and I just can't believe I'm here. Like I feel so grateful. This is probably like the one place that I'm like, okay, let's soak it in because I've just dreamt about coming here. So first thing we're gonna go and do is grab some lunch and then we're gonna have a little explore and hopefully the rain holds off because it's wet season right now in Australia up here and it's, the, the rain's kind of in and out but we're just gonna manifest good weather, good food and I'm so excited. So spend the week with us in the Whitsundays. Hello guys, right, we are at lunch. We're at somewhere called the North Lease. There's a little bit of music on so I'll have to be quick. But my friend recommended this to us. It was about a 15 minute drive. It's really nice. It's like in the middle of nowhere but it's on the beach for instance. This is what we're looking at. There's the sea. Obviously on a nicer day, the view would be gorgeous. So I've ordered a chicken salad with chips. <laughs> we are on holiday, but I love myself a Caesar salad. I feel like they'll do a really nice one here. So yeah, I'm gonna get a Caesar salad, chips and a Coke. I was ordering fish and chips and buffalo wings. I'll show you when the food comes, but I've got high hopes and everything's so well priced, but it looks beautiful here. Food's here, I'm just waiting for my salad. How inside is all this stuff? I've got truffle chips. And that is what we call a yummy Caesar salad. The water over there is like literally like turquoise. It looks beautiful. Guys, we're currently hiding from the rain. I don't know if you can hear me. Lily's throwing it down. Worst. and I'm just gonna get some little snacks because we've literally run out of everything. So I've just picked up some crab sticks. These are literally like my favorite pleasure. I've always loved them. I don't really know where anything is, but also ignore the side of me. It's been like raining on and off, so my hair is fully up. But I'm just having a little stroll around to see what I can find. Also, this is so weird to me that it's wheat bix. Like, why not just add the A wheat a bix? Like, it's the same company. It's so weird to me. But look, they've got mango, they've got cranberry and coconut, they've got little kids ones, they've got organic ones, honey and golden oats. Like, in England we've just got that one, what the hell? Oh my gosh, Tim Tam double, double coat, I love, oh look, they've got dark chocolate. I've never tried those ones. Mm, I do love these ones, let's get these. Okay, right, I'm going to give you guys a Woolworths haul, what we got. It started raining again. It's just not been the best. Oh, we, we booked something really exciting. We booked to go on, this bike is going to break a jet, jet ski tour in the morning i'm so excited because we went and just had a little look around the marina it's really nice to have dinner there and stuff but we said we were just going to cook some pasta tonight and just have like a night in because i just feel so exhausted i feel like we've just been like go 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 obviously for three weeks something like that and 
I'm just a bit tired. So we had a little walk around the marina and there was the jet ski like desk there. So we just like was chatting to them and she was like, yeah, you can literally come tomorrow. So we're going at 7 a.m. We have to be there for quarter two. So I'm so excited to take you guys along for that. And I've got the GoPro so I can get like a cool, you know, vlog of it. So I'm really excited. So boring stuff first. I just got us some water. They didn't have any big water. So I literally just had to get these, but it's quite nice because it's got the, the city um gatorade ollie's that's become a little bit of a fan favorite on this trip i think i'm coming on my period that i think that's why i feel so rotten and i only brought pads because i don't i'm not really a tampon girl however these ones are the brand tom and they're, they're organic um 100 organic cotton we'd well we might have these in england but i feel like organic tampons aren't really that available in the uk which is why i just like switched well, I did switch to the cup. I mean, this is such a different story for a different video. But I thought if we're going on, like, in the sea and stuff, I'm well, not in the sea, but if we're going on a jet ski, I'm going to probably want a tampon. Anyway, I've got some tampons. If I need to talk about it for five minutes. <laughs> I got these crisps. These, I think, are like the walker alternative. They're called Smith. The salt and vinegar are really good. We've got through so many of those. Then just some little snacks. Tim Tam's double coated unreal i wish we did them in the uk i really don't understand why like why we don't and then these are so cute i had to pick up two more so instead of a freddo this is the most australian thing ever i can't they're ca caramello koalas ha and they're so, well how cute but they're so good like i love these they're like 40p yesterday i got three for did I get three for like two dollars or something? I got them for, for so cheap. So I just got two more of those because they're a nice little snack. Can you tell I'm coming on my period? And then, right, I got this. I've never tried this. I've never seen it in the UK, but it's the Alani Kim K Kim Aid flavour. I've never seen this in England. So I'm so excited to try them. Just like a little picture. It's not going to be, like, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt because it's not going to be a crispy drink because it wasn't even in, the in like, the fridge section. It was just on the shelf. This was $4.50, which is quite expensive for a drink here. That's, like, £2.10. Mm, off the first serve, I kind of like it. Ooh. Ooh, I actually really like that. Reminds me of a, what are they call like a tip top. I don't know what flavour, but maybe like an orange tip top. What flavour is it meant to be? Mm, doesn't say. It's got 110 milligrams of caffeine in, zero sugar, gluten free, B6 and B12, and it's vegan. Come on, Kimmy. I don't know what flavour it's meant to be. I guess it's just Kimade, but yeah, it tastes a bit like an orange. Mm. Okay, I'd actually give that like an 8 out of 10. So I feel, it feel like cold, crispy with some ice would be gorgeous. So, not really the most exciting day, but bear with us. The rest of the week obviously is going to be really fun. So we've got the jet skiing tomorrow. And then I think we might have like a little bit of like a... If you can't swim here. I don't know if I already said this in the start of the video this time of year you can't actually go in the sea without a stinger suit because there's like jelly fish that are like fatal in the water so instead of like the sea they've got like a lagoon like a man-made swimming pool by the by the beach so you still sort of feel like you're in the beach so i think we might possibly obviously weather dependent after the jet skis tomorrow morning maybe spend a couple hours there and then on thursday we're going on a day trip tour to the whitsundays so like the, we go to the Whitehaven beach I think I already said this but I'm so excited so apologies that today hasn't been like super crazy but I'm just knackered and like Ollie's really tired we drove for so long yesterday and yeah we just need to recuperate a little bit so stay tuned I'm so excited also eight foot details because I know you guys will want to know this is a shirt literally from Boohoo let me move my seat back so this is the outfit this so boohoo this top is from glassons which is like a little australian shop over here and then i can't stand up on my foot out i've just got on these you know what i'm just gonna hold you up because i think i'll be able to be better then these shorts are literally from cotton on and they no these are from glassons too sorry no all glassons and i had my coach bag and my new balance 530 so yeah that's the outfit claw clip is primark if you guys care and yeah i'm gonna chill for a little bit and then i will speak to you guys soon
Oh my god, I thought that was a rabbit, rabbit but it's a big bird. <laughs> Good morning guys, sorry I'm on my phone because I brought, brought my phone, left my camera obviously because I can't come with jet ski. But I've got the GoPro so you guys can come with us. But good morning. It actually looks like a nice-ish day. It looks like the sun is going to break through the clouds. So hopefully that's nice. At least it's not super hot. We are so excited. We got up at six. It's about quarter to seven now. We had to be here for quarter to two. We're just grabbing a coffee. I've checked us in, but I'm so excited. I haven't been on a jet ski or anything for so long, so I'm really excited. Um, I've just ordered myself a chai and I was having a latte, I think. So I'll show you those, but I just thought I'd say good morning. Get excited for some jet ski content. Take a look out the window. Spirit goes up as the rain falls down. I'm just getting in my seat to touch you guys. That was honestly so much fun. Way better than I thought. Like, not as scary. I'm such, like, an anxious person in anything like that. Like, I'm, I love to do adventurous stuff because I feel like it's how you make the best memories. But I also get very, like, scared. Like, I'm just an anxious, anxious girl. But it was so fun. Like, we... We got put at the front... <laughs> so I think that means Ollie was a good driver. We were at the back to start with just because like how it panned out and then when we sort of stopped we so I'll tell you about it but we like stopped for a minute and then the guide was like do you guys want to come to number one and we were like absolutely we want to go to number one so we were at number one and it was really good so we got to jet ski for an hour and a half reference we went with someone called Wit Sunday's Day Tours I'll pop them below they were really good and it cost us 120 pound i think it was 250 dollars so about 120 pound and that was for an hour and a half and to be honest like when we've been on holiday in turkey and places like that we've sometimes rented a jet ski it's probably cost us like way upwards of 60 pound like sometimes it's cost us nearly 100 pound and you get on the jet ski for like 15 minutes i'm sure if you guys have been to that like resort holiday you'll understand that you get you get so little time for how much you pay so i think that was so well priced and like we got to literally like they wanted to give you as much time riding as you, as like possible like they only did a few stops we went to turtle bay but there was no turtles which was sad the guide saw one but like we didn't see it quick enough so that was kind of sad but it was so much fun so i definitely recommend it and like i didn't feel scared like i felt quite safe i just was holding on for dear life on Tolly's life jacket but i took the pardon me i took the gopro with me so i did get some good clips we just went and popped and had some breakfast because i was so starving because i didn't want to eat before because i thought imagine if i get a bit seasick i was like that's the last thing that we want so i didn't eat before so we just went and had some food and now we are gonna the weather perfect it was looking a bit hit and miss when we first got up because it's a little bit rainy but it's just like cleared and it's blue skies and it's really like warm not too warm though it's really nice so we're gonna head back up to early beach and we're gonna have i think just like a chill by the lagoon like by the beach and things and just have a bit of a chill day but yeah just wanted to say that that was honestly so much fun and i definitely recommend you guys do it so i'll pop the people below if you ever come here but i looked on their facebook oh and as well they take photos of you because they were like we recommend not to take your phone because you're going to be wet and like obviously it takes one slip and if your phone drops in the ocean like it's gone so they were like we have waterproof cameras and we're going to take pictures of you and like that's really the only reason there was top and there was a rainbow and the rainbow was i tried to get it on the gopro clip so hopefully you guys saw that the way the rainbow like i could see the end of the rainbow i've never had that you know normally like you lose it behind a tree or a, a mountain it was dropping in front of us on the sea so when the guide when through sort of like just did this corner and he splashed like when obviously in front of us it was like in the rain but it's the most crazy thing it was so beautiful it was just crazy i was like a rainbow on the jet ski i was like ah, it's so cool so yeah they take pictures of you around and like so they'd stop and then like one of the guys would drop back and get pictures of you and they're free which also i thought was crazy because last year for example we did i don't know what it was called but we did like a water sport in turkey and if you wanted the picture or they did video of like a drone if you wanted it, it was nearly like was it like 75 pound 
so i thought the fact that they do that for free and like they made a real conscious effort to like get pictures of you all you know riding like i thought it was so good so yeah definitely recommend that so yeah that's really the plan it's only tuesday so we've still got wednesday thursday and then friday here tomorrow today and to yeah like this the rest of today and then tomorrow we're just gonna have a bit of like a chill around and then we might go on maybe like a walk somewhere and then thursday we are off sailing so that'll be fun so yeah i just wanted to give you guys a little jet ski rundown but i would totally recommend it i didn't drive they could they did stop halfway through and was like if you guys want to swap like this is probably you know your chance to swap but i was like i don't think i'm going to be able to do it as com like confidently as ollie says so like, i'm just gonna let them take the wheel so yeah i'm desperate for a week so i'm gonna go for a wee and then i'm gonna get gonna get myself ready for a little chilled beach day but this is my outfit this is just from boohoo it's just like a black swimming cosy and um, zara shorts and that is it so i will see you guys in a bit hello guys we're just at the lagoon such a nice day it's so nice to have a little bit of sunshine so we're just chilling here ollie's booked a hair appointment to have his hair cut so hopefully that goes good good luck to the barber because ollie's hair is a big deal i'm wearing this cute sheen bikini this is from amazon this is the view so the pool the pool sort of goes like all across and then it goes onto the beach it feels like a real beach though there's like and then obviously goes into the water. Hello guys, ignore my hair. Ollie says it looks nice, but I don't think that it does. It feels wild. Anyway, we're just grabbing another soy bowl for lunch because neither of us are that hungry. But I found them. I haven't seen these in any of the other cotton ons, but there was just one up there, so I thought I'd go and look. And I found them. So I got citrus and berry. That one's for someone else. No names mentioned. So I'm not going to spray that one, but I will test the scent. These are only three dollars. I thought in Zara these would be like twelve. Don't spray that one. Don't. Okay, this is citrus. I'm such a citrus like lemon kind of girl, so I feel like I like this one. Mm, nice. Love. Nice. Well, Love. Slay. Slay. That one smells really nice, and they're cool because they can clip on your bag. Or you can take off if you don't want it, which I thought was nice. Nice little car pack accessory. Berry one's actually quite nice. Oh too. my god, that is so nice. It's only nice if we can just constantly take the mick out of them. So I got those. One fifty each. Um, what else was I going to say? I can't remember. But we are waiting for our soap bowl, so I'll show you when they come. It's New, Ze New Zealand? New Zealand natural. I can't believe how nice the. I thought my ear would be I can't believe how nice the day has been. It's here. New Zealand natural. Okay, this is what I was going to tell you guys. I just remembered. We've got a code red situation. Did anyone see that? So, I was taking pictures earlier at breakfast and everything looked a bit cloudy, but it was quite sunny. So I thought maybe that was the problem. You know, sometimes it's like backlit. And then I started taking pictures at the lagoon and then look at the cameras so to give you guys some context look can you see not really no not, well, exactly no and no i mean like two isn't normal. so bad three is fine and also 0 0.5 is kind of fine but that's a nice angle so i don't really know what to do i looked on google and it said to put it in rice for eight hours but I don't know how it's happened and it's annoying because Ollie's phone is literally so bad. So I think I'm gonna have to start taking pictures on the Sony. So yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I'll show you when these Sony balls here. This actually looks incredible. We both got the same, right? Ollie just got a large, but that looks quite good for a medium. <gasps> it's got grapes in. I haven't had a grape since we've been here. Right, well, I'm gonna try and take a picture on my phone. It's too pr no, even three is quite cloudy. Maybe I can try and sharpen it. It's not looking good. We both said that we need to start making these at home. So when I get home, and especially in the new kitchen, we're going to have a little acai corner in the summer. When the kitchen's done, it's light. A little acai corner in the morning, so cute. Good 
morning best friends welcome to is this day three in early beach i believe it is i am just having a little morning to myself me and ollie said that he was going to go to the gym this morning and i was like you know what i just want to have like a morning on my own i feel like time apart is so important and i feel like at home we really prioritize like you know being together but also having time alone because it is important especially in a long-term relationship sorry the wind is pretty bad where i'm sat but yeah he was gonna go to the gym and I was like, I'm kind of achy from the jet ski, so I said, I'll go to the go and feel the gym out. And I was like, maybe I'll come with you whenever I but I was like, I feel like, oh, that's the cutest little dog. I thought it's really important just have a couple hours apart because obviously we've been glued to each other for the past literally month. So I've just come to the beach, he dropped me off and he's gonna go to the gym for an hour or so. And I grabbed myself a little iced chai because I got myself a nice coffee this morning already, so I thought I'll have a chai. And I'm just sat looking at the beach and I'm just like feeling so grateful. I feel like weirdly I'm really struggling with like my grief for my dad at the moment. I don't really know why. I think it's because everything like I think because he was such a huge part of mine and Ollie's life. Everything we see we're like oh my god my dad would have loved that. Like dad would have laughed at that. Oh my god like my dad and I feel like in day to day life it's quite easy to just like feel feel it but like suppress it a little bit and I feel like when you're doing something that's so amazing and like this trip like I would just love I, bought, I wish I bought my journal but I don't think I did because I would love to sit and journal um, I think I left it in the in the van but yeah I feel like when something like really good and positive is happening I guess it's just like a natural response to want to share that and then when I realise that I can't share that I think it just gets a little bit sad and um, so yeah, I just feel so lucky. I feel like that's the overwhelming emotion. Like I feel so lucky that I get to experience this and like beautiful parts of the world where I thought I would never be able to go. Like we're here and it's so, the wind's really, really freaking on my emotional talk this morning. But yeah, I guess I'm just feeling really lucky, like really blessed that we're here and we're getting to look at all this beautiful country and explore it and yeah. I feel very lucky and I feel very lucky to like have this really positive space on the internet where you guys just randomly found me and now watch my life like that makes me feel unbelievably lucky and I don't know I just feel very lucky very blessed I feel like I'm just in my feels a little bit at the moment because it's such a I feel like you know it's just so overwhelming I'm, I'm like oh I don't want to like miss a moment of the trip and I'm just having like the best time and I don't want to go home but then I also like miss everyone and I don't know it's such a weird emotion but I'm going to show you the view because that is what's more important here because it's beautiful so this is currently the view is that not just the most stunning thing you've ever seen all these palm trees everyone's on the hot girl walks this morning with the dogs and like look at that it's just stunning I love it here so yeah I'm going to sun cream off and then I think I want to go and have a little sunbathe, drink my coffee, read my book for a couple hours and just have like a nice hour or so on my own which will be nice and then I think me and Ollie are just going to like chill today because we're going on the boat tomorrow so I feel like we had obviously a bit of a full on day yesterday, full on day tomorrow so I think we're just going to have a little bit of a chill today. Good morning guys, happy Thursday, we, can you tell, we're off on a boat trip and I'm so excited, so we're going to go and sail around the Whitsunday Islands, I'm so excited, it's honestly like a dream destination to see and I feel like we've been pretty blessed with the weather, it's a bit cloudy right now but it was cloudy the last two mornings and it ended up being really nice days, so fingers crossed the forecast looks like way better than we could have imagined because apparently the last three weeks here it's just been like constant rain so i feel like we've actually been so blessed but i'm so excited i feel awful but i'm just gonna put that to the side like i feel so tired i just felt so ill last night well and the whole of yesterday pretty much that's why the vlog ended pretty abruptly yesterday afternoon because we had to come back i just felt so poorly and like you know and you just feel like drained and weak and yeah i didn't feel great at all but i've got up this morning and i've had a shower i've got myself ready i've put my hair in some little plaits and i feel better ollie's just running to woolworths to get us some food well some snacks and stuff and some drinks we've made ourselves two baguettes so we've got that i think we do get lunch on the boat i'll tell you everything like i can't really remember what we booked so once we're there and we've you know we're experiencing it i'll be able to tell you guys what was included and what was involved for the price and everything but we have got a meet at the marina at half eight. It's currently eight. I got up at six. 
I'm so tired, but I'm really, really, really excited. I feel like today is going to be a really fun day. So buckle up, bestie. Get excited. I wish I could be way more pumped up right now, but I feel so tired. But I Dutch braided my hair. I love Dutch braiding my hair. I feel like... Oh, I'm just going to have to... I have got my well and moose to be fair. Let's get rid of the horns. But I love Dutch braiding my hair. I feel like it always looks really cute. And it's just out my face, like, for the day. But, yeah, this is the fit. Um, white fox bikini, gander necklace. Or always wear my Abbott Lion necklace. Topshop trousers. And then I've just got my white shirt. And I've also got a little white fox, like, crochet set. I don't know if I'm going to wear that. I don't really know like how long I'm going to have at the places but I might get changed into that because it's a cute set um, but yeah this is the look and I'm so excited so let's go and see the Whitson days That was really fun, really tiring. We, it was, the visibility wasn't great because of all like, the storms and stuff, so it was a little bit cloudy, but it was still really fun. I was just snacking on a sandwich. I'm really excited to go to White Haven now. And we've got our suits on. And to be fair, because we have the suits on, my hair hasn't really got wet, which is brilliant. But this is so We made it to Whitehaven. It is so cute here. It's really warm. It's blue sky. The water's really blue and the sand is white. Like I, I get what it's called Whitehaven. Look at the sand. We've still got our singer suits on, but this is the view. How cute. Guys, we're gonna put our singer suits on. Babe, I don't think you need to put your hood up unless you're gonna fall in. Oh, fair enough. Um, I'm gonna go on the paddleboards. That's the boat that we're on. Oh, there's loads of fish. Loads of fish. What a fun day that was. Honestly, I'll give you a full debrief and like review of it and everything. I'll give you the ins and outs. But that was such a fun day. I've really caught the sun. I think it's just because I got a white necklace on, but I feel like I've really caught the sun today. We have just come to the, a little tavern pub. I don't really, I think it's called a tavern. It's just opposite the site that we're on. And the lady, when I checked in, said that it was quite nice. And we just wanted somewhere quick and easy for dinner because we're starving. So we're just going to come here. So that's what we're up to. So I don't know what I'm going to get to eat, but I will show you. And then we'll have a full debrief of the day. You're like a real traveller back there. <laughs> What's man going to do for some food? Okay, well, that's closed. She didn't mention that at reception. Also, the maddest thing that I've seen in Australia, I've been making a list of all the crazy things, drive-through alcohol. So, like, it's, imagine, like, a Tesco, but it's a, it's just alcohol. It's called Bottle Mart, and you do drive-through orders to get, like, the uh, wine spirits. It's so weird. Like, I feel that's very American. I was really shocked when I first saw one, but they're literally everywhere. 
Okay, guys, before the sun goes down, I'm going to give you all the tea on the boat trip. So let's talk about it. We, first of all, booked it with Whit Sundays Sailing. I literally looked online, had a little scroll for a few, one that sort of tickled our fancy. And you can do two different types of boats here. You can do like a day trip. I think some places even do like half a day trip. I would say do the day. I don't really think you'd see that much in half a day because it's from here it's a good like ever and ten to actually get to where you'd want to see and then the other option is to do like an overnight i think some places do two days one night some do three days two nights we from the vibe i got it was a little bit more like drinky party i'm sure some are karma very like groupy we're not huge group people we like to just be the two of us and not really like participate too much we were introverted over here so that's personally why we just chose to do like a day one and also i don't think i'd be very comfortable sleeping in a boat just from like things that i saw on tiktok and things like some rooms you literally open a hole up and you almost just like slide in and you just like i get a little bit claustrophobic so i don't think i'd like that too much so we yeah booked it with wick sailing sailing adventures.com that's literally what it is it cost us 180 pound for both of us and that was including lunch snacks there was soft drinks on board they were literally like three dollars which i thought they could have charged so much more than that so that's like one pound fifty we got five throughout the day so it was like that's actually mad what? only one pound so we only paid fifteen dollars for all those five cans of pop seven oh, yeah. seven pound fifty as well. yeah yeah so that's personally what we paid you could probably get it cheaper I, I guess it depends what time of year you come wherever you go in the shop and like haggle i just booked it online and just did it for the day that we wanted to go and the weather looked good so that's how i booked it so we met at half eight like i said it was about an hour and ten to we went to chalky's bay and that's where we snorkeled so everything was included all your snorkel equipment your stinger suits because i think i mentioned to you guys that you can't really go in the sea at this time of year without protection because there's like invisible jellyfish and it can be fatal if you got stung by it i think from what they said today on the boat it's a very minuscule chance but obviously it can be quite serious so you obviously wear the stinger suit absolutely fine like i was thinking oh these are going to be so uncomfortable so hot not at all it was it's just like a wetsuit but you couldn't even feel it and it had a hood it had hand like mittens but also they folded out so you could still like grab your camera your phone and stuff so that was all included they had paddle boards which were included like noodles if you didn't if you weren't like a super strong swimmer if you didn't want to just be treading water you could have that so we did snorkel in for about 45 minutes we couldn't see much of the coral reef because like the last few days i reckon like tomorrow if we would have gone tomorrow saturday it probably would have been a bit clear clearer but because of all the bad weather over the last few days the coral reef like you just could barely see it it was really bad and they did warn us like that would probably be the situation also everywhere has these slushies these were one 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 dollar fifty they're so cheap everywhere yeah 45 minutes snorkeling then it was about a 10 minute boat to the white haven beach definitely one of those places in my opinion i really really wanted to see it and i'm so glad that we saw it but definitely one of those places that's like instagram versus reality because you the pictures and the videos you see on instagram and tiktok and google it's deserted it looks like tropical like secretive no one's there obviously it, the beach was full so there's like there we go you just died there just put you back in your little tripod it was nice it was a lovely place to see but it, it wasn't like a tropical deserted like island where it's you know just you like there was boats everywhere people getting on on in and out but it was still a really nice beach like the sand is truly white so yeah we paddleboarded for a little bit there we had about an hour and a half i think so like by the time we got off we had a little walk around paddleboarded for a little bit and then we got back on the boat and then we went about 10 15 20 minutes sort of around the other side of the island and then we did like a little bit of a hike it was nothing crazy it was maybe like 10 15 minutes up a few steps and there was three different lookout points and those are all the clips that you guys saw so it was like the gorgeous white sand and the light blue sea it was really really pretty i'd say that was more of like a breathtaking view we got back about five o'clock so it's an all-day thing very good i think 
worth the money obviously lunch was included all the activities like it was a very nice atmosphere it wasn't like um it wasn't like a party because i know some of them are and i wouldn't have liked that personally because i just don't really like being around people like drinking but it was just a nice like anyone could do it like families couples friends there was loads of people doing it on their own as well which i just think is crazy like we were just saying like there's so many solo travelers and i just don't know how people do it because i feel like i'd just be sat on my own like a little mouse not talking to anyone because i'd just be so nervous but yeah there was loads of solo travelers older people younger people so it's a really nice day all in all um definitely recommend i don't think that you'd need any more days unless you want that like really like fun adventurous like party environment i think a day is fine because i can't see us wanting to have spent any more time the places that we went than we did or like go back or see more it's all sort of the same really beautiful beaches but obviously it's like a national park so there's not like shops there's not restaurants there's not coffee shops it is literally a beach in the middle of nowhere in on a tiny island in the middle of the ocean so very beautiful very glad we did it so yeah it is now currently quarter to seven i'm gonna go to the toilet i'm gonna have a shower i am going to just chill really and then i will see you guys tomorrow so early beach tick with sunday's tick and we're on the move tomorrow so get excited for a new location girl because we and oh, it's oh it's coming close now guys we we fly back to melbourne yesterday it's all it's all come to an end very fast and it's really sad i feel like the first week in melbourne felt like it went on quite a night like not super fast but not super slow and then for like the last two like yeah two weeks have gone really slow and it's been nice and now i feel like this week has gone so fast and i feel like next week will just go so fast too so yeah i'm gonna go to the toilet because i'm desperate for a wee but i will see you guys probably tomorrow love you going to get a little coffee from a little coffee van on the side it's so good and they always have little like treats the banana bread is to die for morning uh, can i get two vanilla ice lattes please and can i get two banana breads thank you oh that's actually really nice this is the best banana bread ever. I can't wait to go home and make a banana bread now. Yeah, it's better every day. Okay, guys, proper good morning on the camera. I never normally take you guys along on travel days because I kind of got in my own head and was like i don't know if it's that interesting but this is going to be our last long trip of the of the trip like long drive of the trip because we're off to our final destination i hate saying that it reminds me of the film we're off to our last place location do not claim any negative energy from that so i thought i will take you guys along on the drive today because they are fun and i personally really love them i love going on road trips and stuff so stage one of what we normally do is just get everything like wrapped up because obviously we've been here now for five nights it's gone so bloody fast but obviously everywhere's got a little bit messy there's like dirty clothes we've got some rubbish so ollie's just took the rubbish bags out i'm gonna put all the dirty clothes in this bag we've got maybe one more in the wardrobe just telling them our process of getting out of getting out what like when we move site yeah it's normally just a big tidy up to start with in the mornings tidy everything up get the table and chairs in get everything off the sides because it obviously all falls when we drive so this is the current state it's not it's not awful in here. yeah it's not awful it's just it's been worse yeah it's been worse it just takes like 15 minutes to get tidy so I'm going to put all the dirty washing in here. We'll have to find a laundry. Oh, well, we might be able to get through now. The only thing we'll have to wash is the towels. Um, will you pass me all that stuff off the floor, please? So, yeah, get ready for a road trip anyway. I'll talk to you guys about where we're going and everything later. But for right now, 
Let's get out of Airway Beach. Isn't that there? Guys, this story stuff is next to us. They've made me miss that so much. They're so nice and they're all quite old. So they just really remind me of Sash. Like I literally, when we when I first played them, I started crying because I was like, I just miss Sasha so much. He's gonna come here. Ah. Okay guys, we have all checked out. We to for a time reference it is 8.52. We weren't even planning to leave till like 10 today. So we're ahead of schedule. We've seen pretty much everything here. Like we went to most of the restaurants Ellie told us to do. We've like walked everywhere, we've seen everything, so we thought, although the weather looks nice here this is the last long drive so let's just get it out of the way so we've got seven hours and 11 minutes on the clock but we've done more we did 11 hours to get here in one day and we literally stopped for like half an hour not only true but through it so this really feels like just a trip to birmingham really not far at all <laughs> no so this is what we've got on the clock so it says 386 miles and we'll get there at four o'clock We'll obviously stop in between and get some food and stuff. But I normally have my iPad here, but to be fair, I normally get a little bit motion sickness. But I did fall asleep on the boat yesterday, so I've been scared to read this driving, but I think I'll actually be okay. So I've got my iPad, we've got some fruit, and then I actually brought the car pack that I have at, the, at home in the car with me, and it's just full of like period pads, hair oil, my lip balm, the camera, hair brush, plasters, you know, just essentials. So yes, I will pick you up periodically throughout the day, but we're gonna be sat here and here for the next seven hours. So, oh, little market. Do we go? Apparently there's lots of markets in Cairns. Do you wanna go? Do you? I don't mind, I'll go. No, let's just go. We're in the river. And we always listen to a Die River CEO. So thank God he's got so many episodes. So that's what I'm gonna put on and I will pick you guys up in a bit. stop guys we're about half twelve we're about three and a half hours in i think it's about right it's bloody hot we're on a retail park there's nothing more intriguing to me than a foreign retail park but like they just look so much cooler than england's we're coming here though because i've seen them everywhere uh, this has been it's been naughty i don't think i can get my leg that high We can't go through the drive for it. Well, actually, we probably could go through the drive for in this one. It's quite high. Hardly just walks ahead. One thing to know about me, girls, is I'm a slow walker, and on walks it really becomes apparent because I just have to walk in silence because Ollie's so far in front. But I don't know what it's actually called. Guzman Y Gomez, thank you, darling. And it's Mexican. Which is it's Mexican food, that's my favourite type of food. So, yeah. Mm, what to have, what to have. Oh, do they just do a bowl? Yes, they do a bowl. And they do enchiladas. Look how good this menu looks. Hello, could I please get a regular bowl? Yeah, what's the What for? Sorry, I've never had it before. Uh, so we have chicken, pulled pork, ground beef, pork brisket, veg. Chicken, please. Chicken? Rock and sour cream? Yes, please. Yep. Uh, it's also around about this time that we start realising that we don't have anywhere to sleep tonight. So I'm going to get off my camper mate and type in where we're going. To be fair, what from what we've like looked at, Cairns, there's not much to actually do in the, I don't know if it's classed as a city or a town, it's more like day trips to different places. So it doesn't really matter where we are as long as it's like somewhere sort of central. This looks really good though. Typing where you're going, and then it will take you to the map, and then basically they all come off where you can stay. 
So we're flying from Cairns Airport on Wednesday to Mel back to Melbourne. Because this one just kind of close. See you guys. Thank you. Glad I didn't get the small. <laughs> No, Alright guys, lunch break over. We're back on the road. See what I mean about the, the slow walking? I actually don't think that that was that small. It looked when I opened it. I think they should just make the boxes smaller because it made it look like there was literally no food. But my belly's full, so... That's made me feel rotten, now that is. Really? Yeah. In what way? Maybe it was a tempest. Don't you don't feel good? Maybe it's the heat. Being I feel fine. Using this fan right here. What's that parkour? And I think there's some exercises out there. Um, there's some diets. N M R I think. To help you use just targeted fat in this region. What would you say to that? The answer N is M. You may oh, be able to spot to reduce. Uh, but let me look. I think that's definitely kind of a like lot. Conversation like yeah, like I had a really great night sleep last night. Okay, girls, we officially made it. Last road trip of the trip done. It was so sad. It is sad. That actually went really quick though. It felt like three hours, not seven. It's crazy. I think we're just so used to it now that like a drive anywhere at home is not going to feel like an issue like i'm going to be whizzing everywhere um we listened to a few steve at bartlett podcasts obviously and my brother went to see him last night at like his live tour so i'm so intrigued to see i wish i would have brought tickets at the time but i just didn't even think about it so i'm going to ring him and ask him what it was like because i really want to go i don't think there's many tickets left but we could maybe get some tickets because he I think his UK tour is pretty much ending as we get home. I think there's like a couple of dates and then he comes to Australia. So I wish, because when we were in Brisbane, his face was everywhere. And I was like, oh my God, look, it's Stephen everywhere. So yeah, anyway, we are officially in Cairns. We made it. We've just, well, I've just been making a little list of things that like I definitely want to do while we're here. There's like lots of like waterfalls here. You can get a ferry to Fitzroy. I think that's how you say it, Fitzroy Island, which looks really cool. Um, there's some like little cool beaches, Port Douglas, Palm Cove, and then I think there's like markings up. I don't think in the actual city of Cairns there's like loads to do just from like what we've been seeing while we've been tra planning the trip and stuff. But I think it's like a good hub to go and see other stuff. So we've got four days here. Well, four and a half. But then we're flying back on Wednesday evening back to Melbourne. So yeah, we're here anyway. So pretty much to set back up, we just plug the power in and we're done so this is the site just looks like any normal one i guess the last so, one was normal yeah the last one felt like really tropical didn't it felt like we was in like i don't know like just a cool holiday holiday site yeah the aircon's really loud sorry so yeah guys that is actually going to go ahead and conclude the vlog for today that's episode four wrap so I hope you guys have enjoyed spending the week with us. I feel like we've had such a fun week and I love Airlie Beach. It has a very nice vibe to it. So yeah, love you guys so much as always. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It would mean so much to me if you subscribed and stuck around and get excited. We've got a couple more vlogs coming out. So yeah, before we go back to the UK and get back into normal life and house renovations. <laughs> God, the house whenever i look at pictures of it i'm like oh my god <laughs> i love you guys so much have the best rest of your day evening morning whenever you're watching this and i